This is part five, and this time you will be introduced to the coding required to begin making your bot user interactive. Now, since you are here to learn how to make a Discord bot in Python, you will be using the discord.py file. Discord.py, from now on I'll refer to discord.py, is a Python library that exhaustively implements Discord's APIs in an efficient and Pythonic way. This includes utilizing Python's implementation of async IO. The first thing you have to do is install discord.py. If you are doing that in a shell or terminal window or something similar to that, you would do this with pip install dash u discord.py. However, if you are like me and you like to use a Thony IDE, you can install discord.py by using the package manager. You can access the package manager by going to the tools menu and selecting manage packages. Search for discord.py and click the install button. I already have it installed, so I can't reinstall it, but as you can see, I can uninstall it or upgrade it when available. Once it completes installing, you can close that dialog box and it's ready to use. So let's use it to create your first connection to Discord. In order to use discord.py to create your first connection to Discord or any connection to Discord, you need to create an instance of client. A client is an object that represents a connection to Discord. A client handles events, tracks state, and generally interacts with Discord APIs. What you have done with this script here, and a copy of this will be available for download, is create a client and implemented its on the ready event handler, which handles the event when the client has established a connection to Discord, and it has finished preparing the data that Discord has sent such as login state, guild, and channel data, and more. In other words, the onReady method will be called, and then your message printed once client is ready for further action. You will learn more about event handlers a little further on in the course. Now, when you are working with, for lack of a better word, secrets, like your Discord token, just there, note that is not an actual token, it is good practice to read it into your program using an environment variable. Using an environment variable allows you to avoid putting quote unquote secrets into source control. It also allows you to use different variables for development environments and production environments without having to remember to manually change your code. Now, while you could use something like export discord underscore token equals your token here, Keep in mind your token here is just a placeholder. You would have to replace it with your actual token. An easier solution than this is to save a .env file on all machines that will be running this code. Not only is this easier as you won't have to export your token every time that you clear the shell, but it also protects you from having to store any quote unquote secrets in your shell's history. Create a new file and call it .env and put it in the same folder as your bot.py file. You will of course need to replace the your token here with your actual Discord token. Please note at this point that a .env file is not a file type that is specific to Python. Its syntax rules are a little different to Python. This means that you will need to replace the entire section of your token here, including the curly braces. There should be nothing except your token after the equal sign. In order to get your Discord bot's token, you take it from the developer portal page, click on the bot menu again on the left hand side of the window, and click copy beneath where it says click to reveal token, just here. You can regenerate it if you feel it has been taken by somebody else, but generally speaking, especially when you're first creating the bot, you won't need to do that. You're going to have to believe that I've replaced the placeholder with my actual token. As mentioned earlier, it is a quote unquote secret. You should never let anybody else see your Discord token unless they are developing a bot with you and you really trust them. Now, if you look back at the bot.py code, you will see an import from a library called .env. This library is useful for working with .env files. Load underscore dot env loads environment variables from an env file into your shell's environment variables 
so that you can use them in your code. You can install .env using pip, like this. Or, again, if you're using Thorny like I prefer to, you can just install it using the package manager as was shown earlier. Ensure you search for python-.env as it's shown here. If you don't, you will not get the correct library. Finally, within your code again, client.run runs your client using your bot's token. Now that you have set up both bot.py and your env file, you can run your code. Let's try that now. You can see it running bot.py. And now you can see it has successfully connected to Discord. Great stuff. You have now reached the end of this particular video. If you watch the next one, you will build on this client by interacting with more Discord APIs.